The Chang'e Six returned with 1,935.3 grams of samples from the far side of the moon in late June, and now research is revealing what the far side of the moon, the side that's forever turned away from Earth, is like. Chang'e Six samples are different compared to samples gathered by the Chang'e Five mission from the moon's near side. Based on current research findings, comparing the samples of the Chang'e 6 with the Chang'e 5, the Chang'e 6 samples are lighter in color than those from the Chang'e 5. Their composition also differs. The Chang'e 6 soil samples have a lower density than previous samples, indicating a more loosely structured composition. Twelve institutions in China have received the precious lunar far side samples for further research. The China National Space Administration says applications will open for international scientists looking to gain access to the Chang'e 6 lunar soil samples, as the materials are expected to help answer major questions about the moon. Various fields are eagerly anticipating the Chang'e 6 lunar soil samples. The moon's evolutionary history is just one area of research. There are also questions. About the geological structure of the far side of the moon, why the near and far sides of the moon are so different, what the composition of the lunar mantle is like, and why the distribution of radioactive elements on the moon varies, there are many, many fundamental questions to answer. More findings from the Chang'e 6 samples are expected soon. Sun Ye, CGTN, Beijing.